of Chris Clairbon. For those of you who don't know Chris, he's <coughs> super talented figure. Great figure. Chris is almost dying. He's got the flu. He's got a heart for an indigestion. I don't have stomach. I don't know. He's not feeling good today. So, he's got his heart. The man, wait, wait. What is open? Who are you, my friend? <laughs> Jens. Yes, I am Jens. I love manager of Chris. How long have you been working with Chris? Uh, now for uh, almost, yeah, it's a little bit longer than a year. A little bit longer than a year? A little bit longer than a year. And all you do is pigeons? Only pigeons. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Well, you know what? For a lot of people, we always talk to the owner. Yeah. But this one's a little different because for so many people, they would want to have your job. Yeah. Right? It's a pigeon dream. All you yeah. do is pigeons. All I do is pigeons. You grew up in pigeons. Yeah. You born in pigeons. Tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how you grew up. Yeah. And how, in the end, you managed to meet Chris. Yeah. So um, my um, my uncle uh, raised pigeons, but he died on a young um, age. Then my granddad take the pigeons on his loft, and then I raised together with my grandfather for yeah, I think almost 15 years. Yes. And then. Um, I uh, was loft manager uh, uh, van Hove Aterhoe. Okay. And um, then um, I changed to Chris. Okay, now, so people get this. You flew with your grandfather. Yeah. You guys didn't just fly, you guys were winners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 have, we had good results, yeah. Very good results. Yeah. So you meet Chris and. You get a job with working with Chris. Now, yeah. how is Chris to work with? You can say this now. Yeah, Chris. yeah, I can say he's not here. Eh? No. But but uh, it's it's uh, Chris has his uh, how do you say it? Has his vision. Yes. On the 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 loft and how I have to make everything good. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but it's a easy man, easy, easy, relax, now, and I can just do my thing. Eh? You can do your thing now. Yeah. How is Chris as a pigeon man? Yeah, I think I never met someone who has the the feeling with pigeons as Chris had feeling with pigeons. And and for people that don't understand what you mean, what do you yeah. what do you mean by feeling? Feeling the the. He get on the loft and he just look and he said, this is not good, that's not good, maybe this. You know, he seen everything. Okay. He seen everything, he knows everything. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. He, he's good selection of stock yeah. birds, good racer. Yeah. So now you guys fly partners together. Yeah. Now this is your breeding setup here, yeah. which we're gonna see. How many breeders do you guys carry? Um, now we had uh, 66 couples. 66 couples. Yeah. So and this is it's like a greenhouse. Yeah. Can we come in and it see? Was, yeah. Um, last year it was a swimming pool. Last year was a swimming. Pool. It was a swimming pool, but we close the swimming pool and we make a breathing loft. Okay. And uh, again, it's greenhouse. Absolutely beautiful in here. Let, let, let's go down and take a look. Yeah. And you see here. Ladies and gentlemen, you see how it ventilates through the top. It's, uh, it, it's a cool day here in Belgium. I think today it's about six degrees. Yeah. In here, it's you could be in a t-shirt. Yeah. 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 And uh, all the uh, so what? What are what are these sections here? What's the what's what's the slider oh, open? Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? What's the base of Chris's uh, bloodlines? Yeah, Chris um, make his line with um, Van den Bulk. 
Bijna Erik Bol. van den Bulk. Okay. Uh, Gaston van de Wouwer. Okay. Uh, Danny van Dijk. Okay. En daar heeft hij dan... Uh, that, 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 uh, with the birds, he make his own strain. And then he um, gets the pigeons of Willy Daniels. Okay. And cross. we cross them. And that's the, the line, the basic line now here on the loft. Now when you breed, so th these pigeons here are all very high-end pigeons. Yeah. It's not just regular pigeons. No, 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 no. Because we had, um, we had a, a lot more uh, pigeons, but we just put here on the loft uh, 45. Um, yeah, 45. Mm -hmm. And then in the boxes, but we will see uh, later. Okay. There we have 14, 14 breeders and that's, that's it now. And, and all your sections are the same here? Yeah, only this one I uh, haven't cleaned yet. <laughs> you know, you know. How often do you clean these birds? Um, normally um, two times a day. Two times a day? Two times a day. And sometimes, yeah, the uh, in the morning I um, put the nest, what do you say it? Uh, the thing where the young birds are in. Oh, the nest bowl. Yeah, the nest bowl. And then I remove to the other side. And then in the evening, I just go around the nest bowl. And just then quickly clean. Yeah. So you, 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 you clean them every day? Yeah, yeah, two times. Two times, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oops, now, what was I going to ask you here? These, so all these pairs, how many rounds will they have? Normally, they have um, uh, three rounds. Uh, two rounds for racing and then um, one round for uh, late bread and then they uh, finish and then they finish yeah because I think the the, the new breeding loft is good now mm -hmm. when the sun is shining but in the summer it's gonna be too hot for breeding so and three rounds is more than enough. Eh? Three rounds is more than enough. Yeah. And then only uh, breed uh, more of the boxes. More of the individual boxes. Yeah. And you have those now, right? Yeah. So the birds that you have here, these are good couples. Yeah. Very good. But you yeah. have even better ones. Yeah, we think it's better, eh? but we will see in the season if it's... Uh... And, and you guys specialize in flying what kind of racing? Yeah, the nationals in Belgium, eh? um, four to uh, six hundred kilometers. Young birds as well. Young birds as well. Okay, yeah. so so four to six hundred, seven hundred kilometers. That's where you guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep looking. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, there I had uh, one um, one box. I need one more box, so I. You make a box. I make. A, I for what? Make for this pair. For this pair, yeah. But now she has her second nest here on the. And you see, you see the creativity. Just a little, the fanciest lots, but just a cardboard box. <laughs> and now the hands over here in the corner. And these are the the boxes. So we put the most proven birds on the in the boxes. Just like um, here is, is the father, second national Bursch last year. Second national Bursch. This is the father, second national Bursch, and he is paired up now to the um, second ace pigeon, 2021 young birds for national races. And you see. Just how it's done. Everything is individual. You see the, the pick stone, the grit, the minerals, the feed. And, and uh, these pairs here, do they? Can you open? Just, yeah. just want to show. Can you? Do you let them raise or do you switch? I um, I switch because um, for the first round he get a, another hen. <laughs> Okay. So now it's the second round. So the from the first round the hen put eggs and then I stock couple mm -hmm. them and um, now he had uh, four youngsters from the first round and now we get with this uh, hen four youngsters for the second round and then I switch again. Then you switch again. Yeah. I had I have nine couples here who I switched. 
Nine couples. That Nine you couples I switched. So I put. Um, I have now. Um, if they gonna put X now, then I have uh, eight youngsters already from the the main pairs. From the main pairs, yeah. And, and you you expect what type of results? Yeah. To to, to uh, when, when you have a pair that you think is a main pair, yeah. What do you need to see? What does Chris need to see, for production wise? How good do they gotta be? Yeah. You're looking for one out of eight? No. Two no. out of eight? Normally, if 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 you you talk about. Uh, uh, a good a good pair mm -hmm. it's 50 percent has to be good eh? 50 percent has to be yeah. very consistent yeah. up at the top pigeons up yeah o otherwise not in the box not in the box not in the box no so about him we we this is the father of second national bush this year we bred um the year before also two good hands of him so now he is in the box here right um the one there is father of the sixth national ace pigeon um, KBDB. This one here, the blue one. Let's see. He's um, father of the sixth national ace bird in 2019, and also uh, father of 15th national ace bird last year. So super quality. Yeah. And do you find that these these top national pigeons have a better chance of reproducing themselves? Yeah. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean, yeah. No, I mean, I know there's no guarantees, yeah. but... Yeah, but I, 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 my favorite is to breed from good birds and not from a sister or a brother or... You need the good birds. Right. The one who proven that she, that they can... Do the work. Do the work. Okay. Because uh, she, she also, uh, now the, on the breeding loft, um, this one we buy back. She fly for us in Avirings in Czechia. Czech? Yeah. So Czech. this is a one loft pigeon? Yeah, one well, loft. And she was a uh, third ace pigeon there. So we bought her back. You open my hand. And now she's paired up to uh, the brother of. The nest brother of uh, this bird, and he fly uh, last year three times first prize, 200 kilometers from uh, at least 3,000 pigeons. So this cock here, he's three times yeah, first prize winner. Yeah. And, and the backgrounds of the blood of this pigeon here? Yeah, it's Olympic Jan. Olympic, Olympic Jan, um, uh, Danny van Dijk, de Vin. There you see, guys, super health, very very nice quality. At this lot is second to none. Now, when you guys are selecting pigeons for breeding, yeah. I know you have a pigeon here. Yeah. With no pedigree. Yeah. Do you still have them in here? Yeah. Can we see them? Yeah. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah. You guys are looking for super pigeons. Yeah. He was uh, two times the fast bird of whole province Antwerp on the short. Uh, I'm gonna first close the door. Yeah. On the short uh, distance, 100 kilometer. And um, in the club, he flies uh, six weeks after each other first prize. Headwind, soft, soft race, hard race. Every time first prize, six times. After each other. In a row. Yeah. Six times for But the the bird is from a, a old man and um, he don't have pedigrees. You don't have pedigrees? No. Did this, did, did this stop you? No, because we handled the bird and uh, Chris immediately said that's him, we, we gonna need him. And then uh, we bought a pigeon he looks from the man. Yeah. If you had to describe him, how would you describe him? Very strong, I think. And uh, the man only um, raised 100 kilometer, but I think this is a bird who also can fly four or 500 kilometers. He looks super. Yeah, very good and, muscles. And, and no pedigree? No pedigree. Just a pure, straight out. Yeah, place. we don't know. He, he didn't know who was the father, who was the mother, so no pedigree. But it's no problem. You don't, you know, don't, you don't need pedigrees, you need good birds. And this pigeon here, uh, does Chris look at the eye sign? Yeah. 
What else does he look for? Yeah, Chris. Oh, yeah. If they good, the bones good closed. Yes, then bones closed. Um, the balance, mm -hmm. and then yeah, the eye. Eh? Has to have it A all. little bit, yeah. If you, yeah, not so. How do you say it? The, yeah, there is something, there must be something in the eye. Okay. You know what I mean? I kind of understand. Yeah. So, so, so this pigeon here, now how long will you give him to breed? How, how quickly does he have to start producing? Yeah, um, I'm gonna... Um, um, he's now the he had his second hen. Mm -hmm. So with the first hen he had two youngsters. With this one two youngsters. And then I'm gonna pair them up with another one. And then he yeah, had back two youngsters, and if yeah, that's that's his chance he can he can get here. He, and if he doesn't produce, he'll be out. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. There you guys see it. So out of all the big dollar pigeons, this is still a very expensive yeah. pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't have a pedigree. Didn't have a pedigree. Take a chance on it. Yeah. And what do you think of the pigeon? Yeah. I I I, I yeah I liked it. I liked him. I like him. But yeah. You don't know, you, we have to see in the racing season. Eh? Yeah. So. Hold them up so we can see them again. Six in a row. Yeah. Very hard to do? Very, I think, yeah, very hard to do. <laughs> very hard to do. And then, um, normally in Belgium, they raise old birds and yearlings not together on one um, on one race so okay. it's it's Two. but there on the uh, where he raised it's all the yearling birds together right so and he was a yearling so to the old ones who know straight yes where they have to go it flies six times first prize so it's super yeah i think well good luck on breeding them thanks for showing them to them we will uh, we will see anything else here to see with the uh, with the breeders or is that pretty much it uh, I, I make a new couple, <coughs> I will show you. Okay, now yeah. do, you, do you guys do anything special? Any special medications? No. Anything like that? No, no because now it's, it's just, yeah, you can smell. It's, uh, it's just, um, um, look, oh, um, how do you say it? Um, just lick, <laughs> smell, smell, please, you know what I mean. Garlic. Garlic. Yeah, just garlic. Garlic. And that's only the, garlic. And this, and this is that's the, for the whole winter. And then they get their minerals, their grit, their um, foods, and that's all. Do you guys put anything on the feed? No, normally not. Nothing. 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 You guys, you put medication to them? Only for breeding. Only before breeding. Only before breeding. We make them. For? We make them um, clean. So um, yeah. Um, how do you say it? Um, Coccidios. Yeah. And um, canker. Do a canker treatment. Yeah. We do a, a treatment Coccidios. We do a treatment Trichomonas. Yes. And um, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Simple. It's very simple. All right. And the one who who are after that sick kill. Kill. Yeah. Sick birds you guys don't put up with. No. No. So what's no. your special pair you want to show? Yeah, here. Yes. Um the the first uh, for, for the second round I put the father is uh, one from Willie Daniels. Okay. Um, he's uh, in 2022. He's father of the six national ace birds, uh, ace birds, young birds. Okay. And he's paired up to the mother, and she had also in 2019 uh, Chris uh, breed um, six national ace bird young birds, and now this year we breed uh, 15 national ace bird young birds also from this bird. from the from the hen. From the hen. She's and super. She's super. And from him we had now. Six Six national ace uh, pigeon, so I I uh, like the couple. And the hen is from Van den Branden gebrouwen, the speed racer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There you see it. Hey, super nice pair. I noticed the hen has the, the tusks. Yeah. The little barbs. Yeah. No, normally the the hen um, was uh, paired up to this one. Mm -hmm. 
and that's where she got uh, the sixth national ace bird and uh, the fifth national ace bird. So, but I now I paired him up with our best yearling hen. Okay. So um, I don't the yearling bird. Uh, she fly, yeah, uh, five, five times top ten on on um, 300, 400, 500 kilometers. Okay. And uh, always three, three, four thousand pigeons. Mm -hmm. So we did her from the race loft and we put her on the breeding loft. Well, hey, I want to thank you for showing me this setup. It's absolutely perfect. You're a lucky man, eh? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. playing with the best pigeons here in the world, in the best pigeon country in the world, Belgium. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jens. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, Ryan, so there's Elite Pigeon Auctions. That's right, we were at the loft with Chris Flairbot. And the loft fighter at the end, we are going to see where the magic happens. <laughs> now, the breeding loft is something extraordinary. Let me just take a quick look. So, this is your loft. Yeah. This loft here, what do you fly out of? Uh, first round. This is your young bird lock. First round young birds okay. is here. This is the second round young birds. Second round young birds. Yeah. The back side of the lot, okay. And then this year we only play hens, yearling old ones, and they're gonna sit here. Yearlings, hens. Yeah. But the hens not here yet. They are um, on the loft there because I um, put the cocks now on the loft so they can choose their uh, their. Okay, so let's start off with young birds. Yeah. How do you guys do it? How do you play? The schaaf What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Try that one again. That's for, our, for people watching. Yeah. You just learned something. I, I will show you. Okay. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I was cleaning here still, so, but you can come, no problem. All the green is for cleaning, yeah. <laughs> So the lots of boxes, eh? Yeah. So no young birds yet in here. No, not not yet. No, no. Because I had um, two uh, hens who put uh, early eggs. So normally I had four birds here, but it's too. I I wait uh, two three two three days and then I put. Uh, all birds on the loft okay. <laughs> together, um, but normally they, uh, the cocks and the hens, young birds sitting together. Cocks and the hens, young birds together. Together. How long do you leave them together. Mm -hmm. How long? Until the second kivra. Second race. Second race, 100 kilometer. Okay. Now this year um, I had not so many couples yet because we had some bad races, mm -hmm. and now I we we uh, let them together. Um, Till the first uh, 200 kilometer, the third race. So. Okay, and you darken this lot. Yeah. And I, I notice you've got, what is this here? Yeah. How, no, how does this work? When I um, separate the young birds, yes. then the hens are here. On this side? Yeah, and then the cocks are there, and the boxes are open here. But here, I'm, I can close. You see, so then I close this. I close this that only the hen can sit here, just like they can sit here. And here the um, the boxes um, I close also. Okay. Here and just like just like this, you okay. can can be a bird. And then I put these ones in the oh in the, in the loft. Yeah. You put so these I put everywhere. So they have place enough to sit for the hands. For, only for the hands, only yeah. For the hands. Now, uh, you clean this lot when when you guys have the young birds every day. Yeah. Gets every day, every twice day. Twice a day or once? Normally twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a day. Uh, do you have heating in the loft? No. No heating. No heating. Uh, how often will your loft fly? The young pigeons. Loft fly. Yes. Around loft. Yes. Yeah, uh, one time a day. One time a day. Yeah. Hands then cocks. Yeah, normally. Yeah. Uh, but um, we we do also uh, a lot of road training in the beginning. Okay, a lot of road training. What, what's of, a lot? A lot, three times, four times a week. Okay, how far? Yeah, always uh, 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers. So yeah. you, you slowly get them out to 60 kilometers. Yeah. And then it's three, and four then, times a week. Yeah. Same spot. And when the national race start after Burj. We go two, three times road training, and then we stop road training. 
So once you get out to those national races, yeah. get rid of the road training and just loft exercise. Yeah. Same thing every day. Yeah. Only only if it's sometimes it's possible. Now this year it was a a very hot summer. Okay. And um, it was Bursch a week nothing. Uh, Argenton a week nothing it's back Argenton and then we in the weekend we drive with the birds how far will you take them also 60 sometimes 100 kilometers but it depends it depends yeah and when you're flying these pigeons widowhood yeah what, what's when do you show them each other when, from, from the first time eh? no 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 but when I'm saying uh, you basket on which day yeah uh, thir um, Thursday so you basket on Thursday do you show the hen flocks <laughs> together on Thursday no never mm, it depends also but we prefer to put them together at uh, Wednesday. Wednesday so Wednesday in the uh, club in the neighborhood they play 100 kilometer on Wednesday okay so it's Tuesday um, uh, Tuesday yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah, it's yeah. it's basketing. Yes. Yeah. So we put all birds. We put, put them, them to the. We we raise, we raise them on yeah. Wednesday, and then when they come home, they can sit together. Right. And then we separate, and then at Thursday at the when it's it's race the basket day for the big race, then they can eat the whole day. They can do, but they don't have to be. Together. With, uh, together, no. They just concentrate on themselves. Yeah. And they come home from the race again. They get a whole day. They together. they can uh, sitting together till Sunday evening of or till Monday. It's it's. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. And now working pretty good. For yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. What do you find in the young pigeons? What flies better, the hens or the cocks? Uh, uh, the hens. The hens. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, last last year we had, uh, I think six, and. 14, 15, 20 national ace, but all hands. All hands. Yeah. Okay, and any special type of feeding, medications, anything <laughs> like that? No. No. No, just we we, we feeding Matador. Matador, okay. Matador, and um, yeah. If a young pigeon that you put in here doesn't look good. Yeah, kill. Kill. Don't yeah. try and fix it. No, 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 no. Not uh, they can they get two two three days chance for getting better on their own and if it's not then they have to be out. They have to be out. Yeah. And how many weeks will you play the young pigeons? How many races do you think? <laughs> Last year I, I I raced them from the second time. It was young bird race, so it was in May, mm -hmm. and I played them till the um, last week from October. So May, June, <laughs> July, August, September, yeah. six months. Yeah. yeah, but I have to say it is in Belgium is the the round of Belgium. Yes. Yeah, and I played uh, with the birds who are. I played with all my cocks, young cocks, on the on the round of Belgium, but I put my uh, 30 best um, hens, mm -hmm. I put away. away, so they can mooling better. Right, and for people that don't understand uh, the, the tour of Belgium, yeah. that's just around the clock racing. Yeah. So you basket pigeons, mm -hmm. and when all pigeons are in the basket, then they um, you have to gamble. Right. Because gamble, it's a lot on the on the tour of Belgium, right. and um, when everyone has scambled, then they go inside the the cafe, the the pub, yes. and then they um, have eggs, and in every egg there is a, a flight, uh -huh. and then they put eggs, and then they say we go to. That, yes. that and that is that side, that side, there, there. And, and normally, how far is the races? Around 100 kilometers. Okay, so yeah. just not far. No, just fun. Yeah, fun. And a lot of good money in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, <laughs> that's that's the time of the year everyone gambles in Belgium. Okay. In the in the, uh, uh, the in the season of the national race, they, they nobody is gambling. No. Nobody's gambling. That's uh, yeah. yeah. And they, when it's round of Belgium, if they didn't know where the birds are gonna release, then everyone's gambling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. So th this is the, this is the whole lot here. Yeah. Uh, now, can you take us to show us how you fly the hens? Can the, you see that? The old hens. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. All right. Very nice setup. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I didn't clean today, so um, in um, I maybe I put the the cox uh, in, uh, on the on the last loaf later. Then I can explain better. Yeah, but in the in the week. So from uh, Sunday till uh, Thursday, okay. the hands are in this loft. The hands are in here? Yeah. So you can put this open. And then I add here, can they sit? And then I can also go outside here. Okay. And they yeah. can just sit in the. How often do you put them in the Avery? Um, yeah, I think if they um, from from the day they uh, fly in the morning, mm -hmm. so on around six o'clock, six thirty, and um, when they have eaten, they go outside, and then I close the door. Yes. And then in the evening. They can sit, they can eat again, mm -hmm. and uh, then I put them outside, back, and then around 8 o'clock in the evening, they go inside, and then when they're sitting in the thing, we close them, so they can pair up with each other. Okay, so that's how you do that. Yeah. And these hens, how, how, what's the regimen for the flying? How, how, how do you, what's the system you fly them on? So, uh, th will they all have a round of babies, these hens? No. No babies no. for the hens? No, normally not. Last year I had babies because I promised, uh, Chris promised someone to get uh, some youngsters from uh, the hens, so I breed around, but normally this year no. I'm not gonna breed. I, they can put eggs, mm -hmm. breed the day, eight days, ten days, but then it's separate. separate yeah. Separate, they go in here and yeah. they start going out how many times a day? Uh, in the beginning, two times in the ev uh, in the morning, in the evening. But f uh, when the uh, middle distance begin, then one time a day. One time a day. Yeah. Is it always the same time every day? Yeah, yeah. What always. if it's pouring rain? Do you let them out or no? It 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 it. If it's in the beginning of the week, then it's no problem. But if it's on the end of the week, then I don't let them out. Okay. Yeah. And they go out once a day, do you flag them or however long they want to fly? Yeah, um, in the beginning I want them they fly uh, one, hour. one hour. So then if there's, normally it's no problem, they fly one hour, but sometimes, yeah, there was someone who was later on the, on the race, so they come early, but <laughs> fly. Fly? Yeah, fly. Okay. And uh, you, now going to the races, how do you motivate the hens now? Yeah, so normally um, here on this loft, mm -hmm. I had two same lofts on each, each, end. Okay. On each end, and all with the boxes. Right. You guys so boxes. Okay. So the hens. When do the hens come into here? Um, normally, yeah, on the end of January. Okay. So so no no no. So mm -hmm. they they come into this section. Yeah. Go down on eggs. Yeah. As soon as the eggs are yeah. 10 days, you take them away, the hens go into that section. Yeah. Yeah. Hens start to do their exercising. Yeah. The cocks don't stay in here. No, 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 they, they're gone. St yeah, they away. stay away. These yeah. sections are empty. Yeah. When is the first time the hens come back into this section? Um, the, the, the day of um, the, the race, uh, uh, when we have to basket them, eh? Yeah. When we have to basket them, but no Cock. cocks on the loft, eh? So what you'll do is, the day of basketing, yeah. You basket at what time? Um, normally it's around seven o'clock. So what time will they come in here? 5.30. 5.30. Yeah. You, and you open up all I the boxes? Open, I open every box. Right. Like this. Okay. And then they can get inside. Right. And then they, I wait, yeah, I think five minutes. Okay. And then I start basketing them. That's it. Yeah. So no cocks. They no cocks. No. Nothing like this. No. And why don't you show ever cocks? Because I, I, um, I think if you you show the cocks too much in the beginning, when the national races started, 
they are tired of the man's of the cocks, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they get tired yeah. of the system. Because otherwise we have to, and now this year we did, and we, we did uh, the system like this, mm -hmm. and it was very good in the beginning, so keep it the I, same way. I'm gonna keep it the same way, yeah. Okay, and will you use with this, and I come outside because the sun's bright, any special types of medication or anything you use on the hands when you're racing? I think I know the answer, but I yeah, we we I I I, sh I want to tell you something. The garlic you smell. Yeah, it was Tuflor. Okay. Um, uh, in in the earlier years they make it for uh, horses. Right. Now they make it for uh, pigeons, and that's the thing in the begin uh, is always in the in the water. Always in the water. Always in the water. In the breeding loft also, if, if I have to breed three rounds, four rounds, five rounds, always the floating thing. And now the loft over on this side, yeah. this is the same? This is the second round. Second round of young pigeons. Yeah. Uh, and, and you, you guys do not fly cocks. Uh, as old, as old ones, you want to say. Oh yeah, and you guys are doing some construction, so I'm yeah. not gonna bother. But yeah, um, we have to we have removed the loft from here to there because the loft was here and the birds has to fall here for going inside. But it's too short on the yeah, the loft, so they always fall on the on the roof before they come in, and that's some seconds you lost. Yeah. So oh. we yeah. Uh, so we're gonna remove them to there. And, and guys, you you see pigeons all over the world. Pigeon men are always crazy building lofts. <sighs> just that's it. So this is, this is where the young birds will go here yep. as well. This is the second round. You fly what? Only two rounds. Yeah, only two rounds. You guys will fly about what? A hundred and two hundred and fifty pigeons. Yeah. Yeah, normally, yeah, 100, 200, 200, 250, between 200, 250. Okay. And maybe I can show you my yeah. old hands. Now the the racing hands for next season are still sitting here. Yeah, I, you can come. Then I close it and... Mm. So now... This is how you this is how you darken the second round eh, with these yeah. louvers. Yeah, the first round also. Eh? Same thing. It's uh, it's all automatic. Automatic. Yeah. Push a button and these go down. Yeah, it's 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 um, when uh, in the when we say in the the morning eight o'clock on the machine and then every day it's eight o'clock going up going down when when you want. Okay. Yeah. So these are the these are because be in the beginning you have to basket the old birds you have to drive to there to there and then you come home oh forgot darkening the young birds and now you don't have to see. You know what? Yeah. You get a little bit of help. Yeah. All right. But here are now the 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 hens for uh, next year racing. And when will you move them over to the loft? Um, when they are paired up to the cups. When I pair them up, this uh, normally next week. Next week. Yeah. You want to see some? You want to show yeah. one? You yeah. have a favorite one? Yeah, the, the red one, eh? The red one. I have one. I have one uh, red one. And uh, she was this year six national ace pigeon on the national races, young birds. Uh, and and you, you see the super quality in this pigeon. She's so muscled, eh? Yeah. <laughs> And you see underneath her, when you hold her up, you see the, the, the muscle. Whoa, she's <laughs> super hen. It's yeah. a super middle distance pigeon. Yeah. Very nice. Good, good results. Yeah, she flies uh, three times. Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, top, top, pigeon. top pigeon. Yeah. And you're gonna she fly also second national zona Argentum. Yeah. Uh, how many races will this hen participate in this year coming? You think? 
How many races will you fly? Here? Every race. Every race. Every so race. You could go possibly what? Twenty races? Yeah, normally yeah, there are I think uh, six or seven national races this year, so they have to fly all seven, all six or all seven. And then, and then in the beginning they fly two times one hundred kilometers, two times two hundred kilometers, and then three times three hundred fifty, and then the national races. And if there's a week between two national races, she goes again. Then she fly in the uh, uh, 350 kilometers. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank you for showing us these lofts. Uh, a, a beautiful You're setup. Welcome. And again, guys, this is a professional pigeon loft. All these guys do pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.